Hello guys, today we will see how to create a NFS export in uh, Iceland cluster 1FS7. So we will create an NFS export from graphical user interface and then we will try to mount it in a Unix machine. And then we will try to create some files to see whether it's uh, working properly. So here we are in a graphical user interface for Iceland cluster. First of all, we have to create a directory structure under IFS. So to do so, we have to go file system management and then file system explorer. Then on left hand side, you can see slash IFS under which all the folders will be created. So in right hand side, just click on add directory, give a directory name. Here I will give it uh, NFS and all the settings I will keep it as a default and click submit and I will create another directory under NFS. So in order to do so, just click on NFS directory and then click on add directory once again. And here I will give it EXPORT export and then I will submit. So now we can see that we have a directory path that is slash IFS and then slash NFS and then export. So now we will export this path as uh, NFS. For that, go to protocol, then uh, Unix sharing NFS, just click there. So here we can see an uh, option called uh, add and export, just click there. So here bunch of details, we have to fill it up to achieve our goal. The first one is the description. You can mention it uh, anything you want. The second one is the client. So basically those server you are going to mount, you have to mention it there. So I will, I have a Unix machine. So I will mention the IP address of that. The other three boxes are also there. You can mention the, the clients. So all these four boxes has a specific purpose. So based on the requirement, you can choose any of the boxes to fill the client information and the next one is the directory path here we have to provide the path that we want to export as nfs just click uh, browse and then search for nfs double click there and then select on export so now we have a path slash ifs nfs and export that we are going to mount it in a unix machine just select there the next one is restrict access to read only that we don't want to do. The next one enable mount access to subdirectories. So the directories under this path will also be eligible for uh, mounting if we are enabling these options. The next one is uh, user group mapping. So instead of default, we need to choose your custom and based on your requirement, you have to give the user ID. In this case, I want root user and then specific group user will be root here. Security type, I will just keep it as default. That is a Unix system. So next is advanced NFS export setting. So all these settings under advanced NFS exports are properly set in default state. So we don't need to change anything unless there is instruction from a customer engineer. So after that, just uh, save it. So here we can see that uh, an export ID of five is being created. And in order to see the details, you just uh, click here, view details. And all the options you can see here. If you want to edit or modify something, then you can click on edit and then uh, you can change any value that you want. So we are done from uh, Iceland site. Now we will log into a Unix machine and then try to mount it. I'm not going to do any modification in FSTAV uh, file. So I will just simply use the commands to mount a NFS export. So first execute df-nh to see what are the currently available NFS mounts. So there is no NFS mount present in this uh, particular box. So first of all, we have to create a directory. So I will just create it as a test. And then over this directory, we'll have to mount the Iceland uh, path. So mount space, then the IP address of the Iceland. If you have FTDN configured, then you can use that as well. 
then colon then the complete uh, path that we have created in uh, Iceland cluster and then the newly local directory that we created that is test and then hit enter so no error came so probably we have mounted this the mount point successfully in order to check that just execute df5 and sorry df5 and h and here we can see a mount point called uh, slash test is uh, created in order to go inside that just uh, do a cd command and slash test if you want to create any file then just do a touch p ls hyphen l then we have the newly created file here so that's all what i wanted to discuss in this video if you have any questions please leave it in comment section and uh, do subscribe and again thank you for watching